backyard mechanic. I know everyone would not have one of these or you have no means of making one. So all you have to use is your axle. Okay, now of course can have a part without the stickers. That's it. See the go through. Not bad. Not bad at all. Take some height. Looks like it. Yeah, it is the same height. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, heat this up, take it off, and put it on here. But first, clean up this flange. Hmm. Yeah, I got aluminum. Okay, goes in. See if this will go in. Oh yeah, give give it a few seconds. Once it's normalized, we'll be good to go. Good enough. Ah, I didn't get it. Hard enough. Okay. My hand should have heat it up more, but uh, it's okay, no big okay. Now it's this one. This definitely I will warm this up. So uh, pretty much like I uh, got all everything that need to be uh, assembled on this differential, on this LSD. So I'm getting ready to uh, to drop it on there. And let me set up the camera here. Just be very careful when you drop it on there because uh, it's either... We'll get your fingers 
caught in there somewhere. Ah. God. It is heavy. Okay. So now we're gonna get I'm going to cover it up. That's without the sealant. And also I have changed the, those uh Outer bearings also. Then just put a couple of bolts. Just enough to uh, to get the mating surfaces. Mate. Quick indication if you're on track is if you could turn this by hand, that's no good. You should not be able to turn that by hand. But no biggie. I have made my uh, myself a tool, a DIY. This is nothing but a pipe plug, and I just drilled some holes in it, put some uh, two screws at both both sides, and then welded a socket on there, and also put some. Uh, masking tape on there so it would be uh, like a tight fit like that and now we're ready to give it a torque this one's got uh, this red marker that you can slide left to right this is more like to zero out to find out uh, how much uh, your torque readings would be as I put some load in it this lever or uh, needle will push this and then that will give us the uh, the correct reading okay so zero out and about more than 30 Again, I'll give it another try. If I go really pull it hard, it'll give me a higher reading. So I just have to be very slow. And see, now it's in 20, which is good. That's what we want. Again, have to be very slow. Less than 20. So it looks like I got locked out again. Um, so I reused the, uh, the, the original shims on there and I just changed the, uh, the bevel bearings, the inner and outer bearings. And I'll show you what the service manual uh, asking is right there. From 12 to 23 uh, pounds an inch. 
All right, not bad. I guess my me and Mickey Mouse uh, tool worked out. <clears throat> but if you don't have a a torque wrench like that, no biggie. You can always use your uh, drive axle and just give it a turn. You are able to turn it with your one hand without a lot of effort. You'll be good to go. Put some marks on there, blue marks right there. Again, don't put put your uh, shaft all the way. Just enough to uh, to turn it. And look where it's at now. There. Or if you have one of these little torque wrench, you can use this too. Well, this torque wrench only um, goes down to uh, minimum sturdy, but you, the same thing, you can always use this. Let me see if I can that. Get. Just set your uh, torque wrench to uh, 30. If it doesn't click on you, you're good and you're able to turn it, then you're okay. Not a precise uh, indicator, but you'll be good to go. This procedure, the preload check, applies to all the uh, F and H series transmission, manual transmission. But as far as like the uh, the minimum and maximum preload, if you have, it's better to get one of those uh, service manual just to be precise. On the particular transmission you have and this is my LSD is made by M factory I got this from Synchrotech over in San Dimas and that's just about it well thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode guys all right be safe out there bye everyone so the only thing I need to do is remove it and torque the bo those bolts, flat bolts for the gears. Bye everyone. That's it. Cool.